In this video, I'll show you how to install Node Exporter on Amazon Linux, uh, CentOS, or RDGL operating system. So, Node Exporter, uh, as you might know, is an agent which basically collects the monitoring data. And uh, from this agent, Prometheus server can pull the data, right? Now. Then Prometheus can help you query that data for monitoring purpose. Okay. So, with that being said, let's uh, install this. Uh, agent. Uh, so for this demo, what I have done is I have created a Amazon Linux virtual machine already. You can see over here. Okay. So we'll install the node exported agent on this machine. So let's connect to this machine. Right. Let's do it privileges. Now, if you look at these commands, what we are doing is we are creating a user or right for node exporter. Then we are downloading the software, extracting it and putting it to a uh, user local bin directory. Okay. And then giving the node exporter user permission to run this uh, software or run this package. Okay. And then we're creating a node exporter service so that we can start stop the software. Okay. And after that, what we can do is we can update the details of this uh, node exporter on the virtual machine on uh, one on our Prometheus server. So inside Prometheus.yml file, we can put the virtual machine IP address right, and the port number so that it can talk to node exporter. Prometheus can talk to node exporter and get the details. Okay, so let's see it in action. Okay, software is downloaded. Let's move it to bin directory. Save permission. Okay, now we will create a service file. Let's start node exporter. Okay, and let me check if it's running or not. Okay, so it's up and running. Which means if I hit this virtual machine on port 9100, I should see some data. Okay. Uh, if you're not able to do that, then uh, just check the security group. Do you have the rules in place or not? Yes, I guess I don't have the rules in place, which allows this traffic. That is an inbound rule. And I'll add a rule which simply allows everything. Okay, and you can see node exporter over here. And if I click on metrics, so these metrics are being connect, collected by node exporter from my EC2 instance or from the Linux operating system. Okay. Next, uh, we need to get these details inside Prometheus. So we have already Prometheus running on Google Cloud on a Linux on a Linux or CentOS virtual machine over here. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll update the Prometheus config file. Okay. To, to basically pull the data from here. Okay, so let's do that. I already have my Prometheus machine logged in. I'll go to etc Prometheus directory. And over here, we have Prometheus.yml file. And here, all we need to do is we need to say uh, job name and we need to put the details. So let's just quickly. Say job name. And let's call it as the Linux. Let's call it as 
Uh, let's say this is my web server. Web server Linux say exporter so that we, get, we can identify that this is the node exporter data which we are getting. Okay. And then I'll say uh, static. Let's go config. The target. You can have multiple targets if you want to. It's like the same file. Like in that scenario, you have to use the name wisely, job name wisely. I have single target, so I just say the IP address of the target over here. Make sure that you remove HTTP and all the stuff. And I'll save this file. Okay, and then we'll restart for me because I can say service Prometheus. Restart. Okay, and once this is done, we can access Prometheus. Okay. And inside Prometheus, if you go to execute or if you go to this web icon, after some time, you will find the data coming over here from the machine, right? From the node exporter. Okay, let me do a refresh. So all the data which we are gathering over here, okay, all these things gets to Prometheus now. Okay, here we are. So we can see node and all these details. So let's say I want to get the CPU utilization of that virtual machine. So I can say CPU load CPU seconds total per second CPU utilization. So here we are. Okay. So this is how you ex install node exporter on a Linux machine and then configure Prometheus to get pull the data from the Prometheus node exporter. All right. So this is it for this video. Thank you for watching.